All right, in this video we're going to talk about making tables. We're just going to start with a little bit of an introduction to making tables. Uh, and then uh, in the next video we may, we'll talk about more advanced uh, customization options, uh, special features, and things like that. Again, with tables, I mean, again, like with everything, uh, the ta everything's customizable. Okay, so if you don't like the certain way it's coming out, you don't like the thickness of a certain line or whatever, uh, there's always a way to customize. Okay, so <clears throat> and there's also many ways to make tables. Okay, so the one we're going to use is called tabular. So you create this begin and tabular environment. Okay, and the first thing you need to know is how many columns uh, you're going to make for your table. Okay, so for example, if I want two columns, I put two C's in this uh, this uh, uh, curly brackets here. If I want three columns, I put three C's, and so on and so forth. Okay. So now, once you've defined how many columns you're going to have, that's also going to tell you uh, how to separate. Okay. So let's say in the first column, I want to write column one. Uh, then in the second column, I want to write something else. I need to separate them with this uh, this symbol. Okay. So now th what this says is in the first column we put column one, in the second column we put column two, in the third column we put column three, okay, and we can <clears throat> see what happens. Okay, so here we have three columns. It doesn't look like a table yet, okay, but we'll start to add on the pieces that make it uh, a table. Okay, so uh, here we, we might as well just look at a useful feature. Uh, when you're using tables or figures or you're inserting images, which I'll show how to do in another video, <clears throat> you want it to be centered, right? So most of the time you want it to be centered. So here, begin center and center. It's uh, very intuitive, right? Everything's going to be centered. Now, let's suppose you want more rows, right? Now we have just one row and three columns. Uh, uh, again, if I put an extra uh, ampersand and I try to typeset, it's going to say uh, there's something wrong, right? Because what I'm saying here is uh, we're making a table with three columns and now, what, but what the, it reads this as is this goes in column one, this goes in column two, this goes in column three, and whatever is here goes in column four. Okay, so if I, if there is no column four by definition, it's not going to compile. If there is a column four, right? I didn't write anything in there, so let's just put something. You'll see how it pops up. Okay, so let's let's go back to three columns. Now we want to add rows. Okay, so we have one row. This is our first row. To add a row, you just put the space function, right? So two. Uh, backslashes creates um, you know a new paragraph essentially and it works the same in this environment <clears throat> so now we can see what happens when we do this and there you go now we have uh, two two rows okay let's just round it off and make three rows okay three by three uh, table okay so now uh, the the obvious thing that's missing is the lines in this table okay so for the horizontal lines uh, we just put H line. Okay, so what this is saying is make the first column, sorry, make the first row and then put a line. Now, if we want a line above that, right, with most tables, you want maybe you want everything in, you know, enclosed, or maybe you just want some things enclosed. Anyway, you can you can choose where the line lines go uh, horizontally with this feature. Okay, if you want, for example. So we got an error for some reason. Oh, okay, because we have to end the line here. Okay, good to know. All right, so if you want double lines, right, you just put another H line, and now you have your double line, okay? For horizontal lines, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in between the columns here, okay? So I'm gonna put, so this is not an L, okay? It took me a while to figure this out when I first started using LaTeX and a lot of frustration to realize that this is not an L, okay? This is, there's some symbol on the keyboard which is a long line and it looks almost identical, yeah, it looks identical to an L, okay? But make sure not to, if you put an L, it's gonna interpret that as another column as, instead of as this line, okay? So uh, I don't know the technical term for what this, uh, uh, har, uh, uh, vertical bar is uh, on the keyboard, but uh, so, but that's what gives you the lines between here. Okay, so if we want lines like this, let's say we want to put a double line here. There we go. Okay, so 
you can play around with this uh, uh, and customize however you'd like. Okay, so this is the basic table. Uh, and uh, again, you just, if you want to change what's here, okay, we just change the text, and what's going to happen is this. Now, C, in fact, does not stand for column. Okay, C stands for the way that the items, so let's, you know, for example, if we do this, it stands for the way that the items are aligned within each box, within each entry of the table. Okay, so as you see, the one is centered here. Okay, and what this is doing, this first C says center everything in this column. Okay, if instead you wanted it to be to the right, so you want it to be flush right, you put R, and now you see everything is going to be centered to the right. Okay, similarly, if you want it to be to the left, you put, you put L, and now everything is centered to the left. Okay, be careful because this gets confusing. This one's the L, and this this one's just the regular line. Okay, so now we're back to where we where we were. Okay, I got rid of the action. Okay, so that gives you how to center within the columns, uh, how to uh, create new rows, right? We can just continue like this uh, as much as we want. Uh, and then, you know, the only trick is that if you want to add another column, you have to put another C here. And now, you know, you have to add an ampersand and then whatever you want after that to get the extra row. Okay, so let's see what that does. And there we go. Okay, and if we want to put a line at the end, again, that's it's not L, it's the uh, vertical bar. Uh, 